Do you find yourself in a situation where you are in a discussion or maybe even an argument wherein neither one of you wants to stand down and you don't see each other eye to eye that you have reached a point where it's a stalemate? So can you actually agree to disagree and go your own happy separate ways? Stay tuned. I'm going to talk about that next. Welcome back. So we've all been there before. Yung meron kang kausap, meron kang sariling point or input, and then the other person that you're talking to, meron siyang different point of view on a certain matter. Okay, and you try to explain your side, and then he tries to explain his side. And in, in the long run, or in the process of you discussing that matter, hindi kayo magka-agree. Okay, so minsan it becomes heated, the argument turns into a debate. Okay, and sometimes, we just can't seem to let go or we can't give in. Okay, so you may have heard of the statement agreeing to disagree. Okay, so let me give you a background of that statement or that phrase. I'd like to refer to the book of Stephen R. Covey called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People in talking about agreeing to disagree. So this comes from one of the habits called Think Win-Win. So essentially, yung sinasabi nitong habit na to, when you are dealing with people, when you are in a relationship with someone, you always strive to go for win-win. Meaning, uh, ako, I win or I'm happy. And ikaw, you win and you're also happy. So, ibig sabihin, walang dihado sa atin. Okay? Whenever, let's say, there's an argument or there is a negotiation, kailangan pareho tayong happy doon sa uh, magiging decision natin where we will um, ag- agree to meet maybe halfway or to a certain point. Okay? So, but in, in, in that habit, it was also made mention of the concept called win-win or no deal. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng win-win or no deal? Ito yung meron tayong pinag-usapan. We are trying to come up with an agreement. But then, neither one of us is happy with the outcome. So, what happens is, we will just decide to not agree on that point of contention or the discussion point. And we will just go our separate ways. So, that is called win-win or no deal. Or, going back to our original phrase, which is agreeing to disagree. Now, a lot of people may be telling you that this is the most mature thing to do. Meaning, yung hindi ka nakikipag-fight to the death just to prove your point and to make sure that the person you are having the discussion with would change his mind and agree with you. Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi nila na mature thing na you can just agree to disagree na walang behado and you're both okay and you both understand each other. That is actually correct to a certain extent because agreeing to disagree is only applicable on certain circumstances. So let me tell you about what those circumstances are. Okay, so for example, nagkakaroon na kayo ng argument or discussion tapos hindi kayo magkaintindihan or you don't want to see each other eye to eye based on a certain point. Okay, so the question that you need to ask yourself is what is that point ba? Is it either an opinion or is it a fact? So, it is very important that you establish kung fact ba siya or opinion. Why is that? Let me define both. No? A fact is actually a statement that can be proven as true or false or accurate or inaccurate or uh, correct or wrong. Yun yung concept ng fact. So, ang fact, meron siyang basis. Meron siyang factual basis. Doon ang galing yun. Okay? Ito namang opinion, it is actually generally an expression of a person's feelings, uh, emotions, thought process, experiences. So, essentially, ito lang yung take niya of a certain point. Okay? And, and, and the opinions can actually stem from facts as well. So, maaaring may alam siyang fact, pero ang opinion niya is completely different from that fact itself. Okay? And so, you might also have heard the statement, there are no wrong opinions. Because I've heard that several times. Another phrase that you might have possibly heard before is that we are all entitled to our own opinions. And that may also be correct. Because the thing is, yun nga, ang opinion kasi, these are just expressions of how we were brought up as, as children going into adults based on our experiences, based on um, what we know things are or how, how things are. So, meron siyang a little bit of emotional and um, feeling component 
for our opinions. And they may not necessarily be proven true or false. Kasi nga, it depends on a case-to-case basis. For this, uh, in this example, it depends on sino yung nagsasabi ng opinion na yun. I'll give you an example. For example, sasabihin ko, opinion. The best color in the rainbow is green. Okay. So, yun yung opinion ko. In, in my opinion, in my feeling, in my belief system, green is really the best color of the rainbow. Okay? But not everyone can agree. Okay? And nobody can dispute that fact from me because that's my own preference. Because as I believe, as I know, and as I feel, blue, ah, sorry, green is the, the best color in the rainbow. Now, I want to go back to the difference between a fact and an opinion. So, focusing now on fact. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, a fact is a statement that can actually be put to a test and can be proven to be either true or false or correct and incorrect. So, it's very important na alam natin na ang fact ay hindi nagsisinungaling, kaya nga siya fact. Okay. So, it has been proven, it has been, I don't know, kumbaga sa science, it has been, uh, it has undergone scientific study, tapos from theory, naging experimentation, hanggang naging principle siya, or law. Okay. So, yun yung konsepto ng, ng, ng fact. Okay. It is something that is either true or false. So, that being said, kapag nagkakaroon kayo ng stalemate in your agreement and you can't seem to agree uh, on a certain point of discussion, Tingnan ninyo or tanungin ninyo yung sarili ninyo, ano ba yung pinagtatalunan natin? Is it based on a fact or is it based on an opinion? So, for example, iisip ako ha, um, I'll give you a fact. Okay, so, San Vicente Beach has about almost 15 kilometers of, uh, of the shoreline of the beach. Okay? And Boracay has about, about one half of it, no? give or take mga 7 kilometers. Okay? So, kung na nagdi-debate tayong dalawa, tapos sinabog ko sa'yo, Ah, hindi. Alam mo, ang San Vicente, mas mahaba yung beach nun. Hindi mo ko pwedeng i-contest. Okay? Because it is written in data that San Vicente's shoreline or the beach uh, the beach strip, so to speak, is about 14.7 kilometers. Whereas Boracay only has around 7 kilometers. So, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-agree to disagree. Kasi obviously, mali ka na sinasabi mong mas mahaba ang Boracay sa iyong paningin. Okay? So, Ano naman yung opinion? No, using the same analogy, pwede kong sabihin, ah, hindi, mas maganda ang San Vicente. Kasi ang San Vicente, wala pa masyadong turista and all, but, you know, it's, it's really nicer in general than Boracay. Okay? That's an opinion. That's just based on me. Kasi ang preference ko, ayoko ng matao, ayoko ng maraming turista, ayoko ng maingay, ayoko ng walwalan mood. Okay? So, but that does not have to be necessarily true for you. Okay? So, at this point, pwede nating sabihin to each other na, okay, okay, sige, so I, I know that you're Team Boracay and I'm team San, team San Vicente Palawan, but let's agree to disagree. Okay? But because for me, uh, I think I think uh, San Vicente Palawan is is the better beach than Boracay Beach. Okay? So, yun yung concept ng agreeing to disagree. Okay? If it is based on a fact, you need to agree that the right data or information needs to be the one that actually wins the argument. Okay? So, kailangan may basis. So, halimbawa, alam mo na tama yung data mo, tapos may kausap ka na mali yung data niya, you have to tell him, sabihin mo sa kanya, oh, I, I appreciate you being passionate about Boracay being or having a longer beach line. So, kasi alam mo, ang basis ko dyan is uh, this journal or kunwari lang, or, 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 this, or Wikipedia. Okay? So, what's your basis in saying that Boracay actually has a longer beach? Okay? So, ngayon, tignan mo yung veracity or yung pagiging reliable ng source niya. So, doon din yung nagbe-base kung reliable ba yung source o fake news ba yan or hindi ko lang yan. Okay? But if it's an opinion, sabi ko nga, you can actually agree to disagree. Okay? So, basta happy ako na in sa pananaw ko, ang San Vicente, uh, Palawan, ay mas maganda kesa sa Boracay at ikaw, para sa iyo, mas maganda ang Boracay para sa, uh, compared to San Vicente, Palawan, then we're both happy. Okay? We don't have to force each other to like uh, the other person's speech. Okay? Ganun yung konsepto ng agreeing to disagree. You will actually understand each other where they're coming from, but then not necessarily change your mind and, or agree, and then you'll go your separate ways. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is agreeing to disagree the right way. I hope you learned something from this quickie vlog of mine where I talked about the proper use or appropriate use of agreeing to disagree. So from here in clock-in co-working spaces at the Ayala Malls, the 30th, 
I wish you well. I hope that you are happy, healthy, safe, loved, and not caught in a conflict. This is VJ Bentong. See you soon. If you like this video, please click like, share it on your social media, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe and that bell.